Hey guys, Negative9 here. I wanted to make a video on some frequently asked questions to hopefully clear up some confusion surrounding details of the new Path of Fire expansion. Now there were a lot of questions specifically regarding the Revenant profession and how that will work in the new expansion as well as some of the pre-purchase stuff, so let's get right into it. First of all, let's talk about how to purchase the expansion in the first place. So I think it's fair to say that most of the community thought that Path of Fire would be bundled in with the first expansion, Heart of Thorns, but that is not the case. In fact, ArenaNet have made the interesting decision to separate the two expansions and make them completely independent of one another. That means if you haven't bought either of the expansions, you could completely skip Heart of Thorns and just buy Path of Fire. You would of course miss a lot of features and story, but it is something that ArenaNet will support. It won't be World of Warcraft style where you have to buy every pre-existing expansion to play the newest one, which is a really good thing for people trying to get into Guild Wars 2. So let's say that you're someone that does not own Guild Wars 2 but wants to purchase it for the very first time. Buying Path of Fire for the standard $30 will give you the Guild Wars 2 core game and the Path of Fire expansion, but you will get the option to add Heart of Thorns to your cart for a reduced price of $20 if you so wish. This way you get Guild Wars 2 the core game, Heart of Thorns, and Path of Fire for a combined price of $50, which I think is a pretty good deal. The confusion starts to set in when people decide to mix and match, specifically confusion about the ninth playable profession, the Revenant, which was added in the Heart of Thorns expansion. So according to the official FAQ on the Guild Wars 2 website, if you buy the Path of Fire expansion, you will unlock the Revenant Profession, but you will not unlock its Heart of Thorns Elite Specialization, the Herald, or any of the other Heart of Thorns Elite Specs for that matter. Let me just break it down one more time to make sure what I'm saying is very clear. If you're brand new to the game and buy Path of Fire, you'll get the core game, all of the new Path of Fire features like mounts, new Elite Specializations, etc., as well as the Revenant Profession. And of course, if you buy Path of Fire with Heart of Thorns tacked on, you will get everything that both expansions have to offer. So I hope that kind of cleared things up a little bit. I know that was one thing that a lot of people had questions on, and to be fair, it is a pretty confusing thing to try to get your mind around at first. One last thing though that I thought I would mention is, if you buy the expansion, all the bonuses or items that you get depending on which version of the expansion you bought are pretty much delivered immediately. So if you bought the Ultimate Edition, the gems, the level 80 boost, the identity repair kit, and all that stuff is delivered shortly after purchase, so that you can start preparing your characters for the expansion right away. Anyways, I just thought I would mention that because a lot of people didn't seem to realize that that was the case. And with that, I think that will pretty much conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped a little bit, clear up a little bit of the confusion surrounding how to purchase the game if you're brand new, and all that stuff. So thank you guys once again, and I will see you guys next time.